calculation is actually one I made myself um, a couple of years ago. We'd bought a new house which had a very bad energy efficiency rating and one of the first things he wanted to do was to improve this house by putting in some insulation. We got an energy audit and it told it gave us a whole bunch of options but no sense of priorities which option was actually going to do the most for the minimum money. So I thought, hmm, I'm a physicist, I can work this out. And here's what I did. So trying to make a, make a home more energy efficient, we can install double glazing. This house has got a lot of windows, actually more than mine does. Um, double glazing is relatively expensive, though. It's about $20,000 to double glaze 40 square metres. But that would presumably cut the amount of heat getting out through the windows. Another option is to install cavity wall insulation, which is a sort of dry foam that's injected between the gaps in your walls. There are rather more walls. Which option makes most sense? Now we know that an uninsulated wall has an R value of about a half, which goes up to three if you put cavity insulation in. A single glazed window has R of about 0.2, which goes up to about 0.5 with double glazing. So that depends a bit on exactly what sort of double glazing you get and how expensive it is. OK, so let's see what we can do. So we've got all the walls with some R value, and we've got a temperature inside, T in, and a temperature outside. Now both the inside and outside temperatures are going to change all the time, and it'll also be different for different parts of the house. But let's assume that the inside of the house is pretty well mixed, so it's about the same temperature everywhere. Um, we don't know either the inside or outside temperature, and it will change. Being Canberra, the inside temperature will probably be more than the outside for most of the time, because it's heating in winter that uses most of the power, not air conditioning in summer, but the same calculation would apply. Now, the heat flow going out is what the heater will have to make up, so we want to get that heat flow to be as small as possible, so the heater can work less and burn less greenhouse gases. So we know that the heat flow... Um, is going to be proportional to equal to the area times delta t over r, the um, resistance value, um, insulation value. Now we don't actually care how much heat is getting out. What we actually care about is the relative amount of heat getting out through the windows and through the walls. So let's um, say we are uninsulated. So, okay. uninsulated. Then heat coming out through the windows is going to be the area of the windows. It's 50, 40, times delta T over 0.2. So that's um, going to be about 200 delta T watts. If we insulate the windows, that changes to 0 0.5, so insulated. So area, which is 40, delta T over 0 0.5 equals 80 delta T watts. So insulating the windows saves... 200 minus 80 equals 120 delta T watts. Okay. Yeah, in principle, you could um, put in your energy price and a typical temperature difference. So let's say in winter it might be on average 5 degrees outside, and uh, say you set the thermostat to 20 degrees inside, delta T is 15, that will tell you how many watts are coming out. So you can actually work out how much it's going to cost. But now let's see how much we save from the walls. So the heat getting out through the walls is equal to the area of the walls, 
delta T over the R, so uninsulated, equals 100 delta T over 0.5 equals 200 delta T watts. So the same that's getting out through the windows. The windows are less good at resisting, but there are a lot more walls. When you insulate it, it's equal to 100 delta T over 3, which is about 33 delta T. So we save about 167 delta T. So we're saving more by doing walls. And it costs less. So that sounds pretty good. Do the walls. If we assume delta T, we could work out how much energy we save. Um, so that would tell us how long it would take to pay it off. Anyway, I did this calculation. <coughs> I put in the cavity wall insulation and it's cut our winter bills and gas by about 30% uh, so it's saving us about $250 a year so that's excellent so it works full marks for physics